take a look at the indigo in its condition now. What's happened is that it was overused. And let's take a look at the state now. You see how the liquid is all black, it's all dark. So let's take a look at the pH. Looks like it's 14, which means it's quite alkaline. We need to bring it back down to something more acidic. What I would do to try to revive this, add more juice, also alcohol, and fresh indigo that we just received from Isan. We'll probably know this within the first 24 hours. It starts coming back to life. So we're gonna test the piece of fabric. This is our organic cotton t-shirt fabric. Looks okay, it's pretty decent right now, but the color might might not be fully binded to the fabric. So a bit of preparation, the cane sugar and the tamarind. And we're gonna feed it alcohol as well. So the purpose of the sugar is to kind of give it a jump start that the alcohol will help increase that effect. So let, let's let it cool down a little bit, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to squeeze it. Here I have a golf ball size piece of lime over here. Oh. At ease. So here what we're doing is rebalancing the bacteria, which essentially kind of like the microbiome to a human being. And let it sleep. So today we're gonna check on the fermented indigo vat. The other day we were trying to rescue. What this is telling me, the, the foam over here, it looks like it's fermenting. Try not to create too much air into the vat. Otherwise it oxidizes. As you can see, it's quite thick now. Today's pH test be between 11 and 12 now. That's our target about 11 and a half to 12 when we're dying. And this is what came out after it was, it, it became dry. So as we can see that it's quite gray and not, and the indigo is, it's really uneven. We're gonna test a new piece of fabric. Start slowly change colors. Definitely looks brighter and less gray. I think this is the classic blue, Pantone 2020 color of the year from a resurrected indigo.